Welcome back to The Organized Author. I'm Lucinda, and this is week one of my series on making DIY Midori Christmas gifts, and I am calling them Lucy Dories. Um, so this is the first one, and this one I made out of felt and some, um, is, is it canvas? What do you call it? It's not leather, but it's, oh, vinyl, sorry, vinyl. And I just think this is so pretty. I'm going to tell you where I got everything. So this this fabric at the top on the outside is just felt it's a felt square here you go it's a felt square and it was 99 cents at Hobby Lobby it is so pretty and it's kind of sparkly but the sparkles don't come off at all they're somehow embedded in the fabric so that was just 99 cents and then on the inside this is um, the vinyl, and it's really thin, and it's smooth and really pretty, and it was $1.67 at Hobby Lobby. And I got them on two different days, so you know Hobby Lobby always has that 40% off coupon online, so they were 40% off of $0.99 cents and off of $1.67. Sorry, let me fix my focus. There we go. And so I just put the two pieces together. The vinyl was a little bit bigger, and I just cut it to size. And then I just used some um, thread for, and it's not thin thread. It's uh, a little bit thicker. It's kind of like um, uh, embroidery thread, but a, a thicker size that I got from Hancock Fabrics. And I actually already had that because I used it on a project oh, about oh for Christmas a couple of years ago. So that's just black, and it was just a few dollars. And then this, I made this. Let me take that out so I can show you. All right. I made this out of um, this stuff called Magic Tape. And it's just clear, um, like the stuff that you line your kitchen cabinets with you would find it in that section at Dollar Tree I don't know if they sell it anywhere else but they definitely have it at Dollar Tree and it's just clear right there with all of the uh, kitchen liner stuff and that adhesive stuff that you can lay down on your cabinets as well um, and it's clear and it's just a dollar and so I just made this out of that I just kind of um, folded cut the sizes that I wanted and then stuck them together and then this um, that's decorating in here. Of course, I have washi tape. I love owls. And this material just came from, uh, this information came from the library where they have those free magazines. And I just cut out stuff that would be interesting because I'm a publisher and an author and I read a lot. And so read more. This is a website that was part of that ad that I'm going to visit called bookpage.com. And then just another part of that site where you can listen to reviews of books. And then this was also in there, and I just thought it was so pretty. There's a book that just came out about Coco Chanel and the little black dress, and um, and I thought that was cool, so I put that on there. And then in the background is just some, some card stock. And then uh, my business uh, postcard that I use, is, I put that in there, and I made some bookmarks. And these are just from some, um, get that out. These are just from some stickers at Dollar Tree, and they're mirrored. They're two different stickers, but I put them together. Isn't that cool? For some owl bookmarks. So, put all that back. And then it just slides perfectly right in here. Okay, now I made the books that are in here, the inserts. Um, and I just used this material or these this cardstock, um, colored cardstock from Hobby Lobby and some washi tape. And I sewed it them together. I don't usually do that, but because this material is not really taut, it's real, um, really, really flexible and soft, which I really like the way that feels. But I needed this stuff to be a little stiffer. And so um, I sewed it. And let me see if you can see. Oh, I kind of covered it up because I sewed it a little backwards. Um, and I, there's where the knot is there. You can kind of see the knot there. And so the little extra pieces of um, string, um, I uh, covered up with washi tape. So I made two books. Those are the two books. And this paper, by the way, is just that um, graph paper that you use in math that kids use that my daughter had for school. And I had tons of it, and we were never going to use it all. So I just used that. Sorry, the lighting kind of changed. It's really cloudy today. 
And then this, I made a dashboard, and this dashboard actually came out of a planner I made years ago, or actually about a year ago. And, um, and I just trimmed it down to size. And so this um, material, the plastic, was from um, an old file folder, plastic hanging file folder. Perfect material, very thick and strong. And then I made um, kind of a craft folder. And I made it tight and thick so that it would kind of help everything be tighter in here um, because the material is so flexible. And so I used um, a piece of cardboard, thick card, strong cardboard that I had that was uh, the back of a uh, sketchbook and then I used um, cardstock pretty cardstock on both sides of it and it made it really strong I don't know if you can see how thick that is pack it up a little bit yeah and then um, and I just put a different color on the inside right there and then there's the outside and then I just put some different stickers in here lots of owl stickers and fall stickers I'll have to put some Christmassy ones in different seasons in there since I'm using this as Christmas gift and then um, and then there's just the back and isn't it pretty so this is the first one I did and these each week what I'm going to show you um, is basically the template of each one a different type of DIY Midori or Lucy Dory that I'm making so this will be the one that I will look at as I make more that are made with the felt and the vinyl and then um, the next week I'll use different material and each one will again will be my template so as I make them for Christmas gifts I'll have one to look at to remember what I want to do and then I'll use the, the template for myself all right I hope you guys enjoyed this video if so please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already and until next time happy writing